Hi, I'm Lee at Iridium. I hope everyone's doing fine today. So it's time to rank the tracks from the album. So today we're looking at an anniversary actually of Thin Lizzy's Thunder and Lightning. So man, this is my favorite Thin Lizzy album. And I know that's probably a little bit controversial for any Thin Lizzy fans out there. It's the heaviest album they ever did. Um, it took a bit of a different direction, you know, but I absolutely love this album. And for me, it's by far my favorite Thin Lizzy album. So 4th of March, 1983 on Vertigo. Phil Liner actually died in 1986. So it was out for a little while. I think he'd done some other stuff, uh, some other studio stuff, but this was the last Finn Lizzy album. Um, 40 minutes and 36 seconds long. Produced by Chris Tangeridas. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Probably not. And Finn Lizzy. Um, so the lineup at the time, Phil Line obviously on bass and vocals, Scott Gorham on the guitar, John Sykes on the guitar, Darren Walton on keyboards brian downey on the drums so obviously john sykes in on this this is also not only this this is my favorite thing Lizzy album this is my favorite guitar work ever from john sykes and that's saying a lot he's done some great great stuff after this but i just love him on this i just think he just he's on fire he's absolutely on fire this is just a brilliant brilliant album full of melody but heaviness at the same time Probably the, like I said, the heaviest album that Finn Lizzy had bought out. What a great, great album. So the ranking the tracks ain't so easy. It's not easy because I love every track on here for different reasons. But I have got some real strong ones at the top there, you know, and that's, a, well, that's what this is all about. It's about ranking the tracks. So nine tracks all together. So without further ado, number nine someday she's going to hit back so almost like a 70s feel to this one especially like the guitar melodies going through the song there's a keyboard solo and a great guitar solo let's just get this out of the way now <laughs> these solos on this and i think he, a lot of them are swapped anyway between scott gorham and john sykes but they are out of this fucking world um this could have been like on an older finn lizzy album for me someday she's going to hit back it felt like a an older sort of song not you know i like it because i like some of the old finn lizzy stuff but i don't know it had a bit more of a poppy feel and i think it could have fitted on earlier albums so that's my number nine my number eight bad habits real fun song catchy i really like this song again sort of a slightly poppy feel i know people will get the ump with that but it doesn't you know there's nothing wrong with that it's very catchy um again I feel this would have fitted on an earlier album. I think the rest of this album, from now on, what the, every track I'm going to talk about is definitely the feel of this album all the way through now. My number seven. The last track on the album, Heart Attack. Another great one. A great closer. So cool guitar work throughout the whole song. Sort of nice vocal melodies from, from Liner. Absolutely brilliant. And great songwriting on this. You know, when he wrote his, some of his melodies, the way he, the melodies went over, the vocal melodies, absolutely superb on this song. Heart Attack's a great song. That's my number seven. My number six, Baby Please Don't Go. Love this song. Such a cool groove. Really catchy chorus. I love the way Phil Lynott's sort of talking over the chorus. You know, be, be, please don't go. And then he's coming in with his little talking parts. Absolutely love it. Classic Finn Lizzy. Great technical stuff by Sykes. Some of the fastest guitar work I think I've ever heard. <laughs> fucking amazing. He really did fit the bill on this band. I fucking love it. I wish there was more stuff with Sykes, with Finn Lizzy. It's a shame. That was my number six. Moving on to my number five. Great song. This is the one. A real cool groove to this one. Love the chorus. It's so catchy. It's funny, the rhythm doesn't change at all, I don't think, through this song. But the, the drumming is just all the way through the whole song. 
but the melodies sort of keep it really interesting this song absolutely love it great trade-off solely in between um scott gorham and john sykes they're trading off and it's cool because they've got such a different tone you can hear it flicking from oh, it's amazing absolutely brilliant song this is the ones my number five we're getting into some really good fucking songs now every one of these is brilliant so number four the opening track thunder and lightning now i bet i bet this was a bit of a shock to some Finn lizzy fans this one when they first heard this one um nice little sort of short riff intro at the beginning after a bit of thunder noise and then before you know it the song hits you like a well as the lyrics say hits you like a hammer without a doubt but absolutely brilliant love the line it was a saturday night when heavy rock was born that's what it's all about you don't hear lyrics like that no more you fucking don't i'm telling you the energy in this song is just relentless it sort of builds and builds and builds the energy and you can feel it and when it comes into that last chorus, it's just fucking mind-blowing. They really mean business, like with this song and the, and the rest of the album. Um, keyboard solo in this one, which, considering the heaviness of the song, it's a bit surprising, but it's it's fine. But there's two brilliant guitar solos also in this Thunder and Lightning's fucking amazing song. Number three. The Sun Goes Down. So where we had thunder and lightning as Finn Lizzy at their heaviest, then we had the sun goes down. I suppose it's a ballad, but it's so different. It's just like no other ballad you've ever heard. It's got such a cool um, like feeling to the whole song. The atmosphere just is, is lovely. Love Lionet's voice on this one. It's so smooth great solo on this one i'm not sure who's doing it but like real guitar heroics on this just man amazing the sun goes down to my number three my number two cold sweat excellent single so heavy what a riff huge part of my childhood this one probably my most played lizzie song growing up uh squealing guitar parts on this you know what i mean didn't you wow loads of that going on on this one i fucking love this song one of the best guitar solos ever again i mean there's some brilliant i've always said that about another solo but the where, bit where it breaks down it breaks down and the, the you know the drums and it stops and then the guitar man fuck amazing absolutely amazing song cold sweat but my number one is the holy war. We are chosen. We are one. We are fighting. So epic. Just that little bass bit to start it off is just amazing. The drums almost like poppy sort of sounding. Sort of like got some sort of effect on them. But then that amazing guitar melody that goes Oh fuck man. Outstanding song. So heavy in a different way. It sort of reminds me a little bit of Angel of Death. I think I was on Renegade, the album before. Brilliant solo. Melody mixed with speed on that. You know, fast bits and there's a melody, melodic bit. Man, what a great album. One of the big albums for me growing up in, in my childhood. Absolutely amazing. So like I said, that was an anniversary. It's an anniversary today, 4th of March, 1983. How many years old is that then? Is that 40... Is that 48 years? 38 years. Oh, fuck, 38 years. Fuck. <laughs> I'm so old, I can't even fucking count. I think it's 38 years. Anyway, what an amazing fucking album. What do you think of Finn Lizzy, Thunder and Lightning? I don't hear a lot about Finn Lizzy on the channel as such. I mean, I do speak about them now and again. They appeared in some of my programs. Do you like them? Over in the US, might not be so big as there was. There was a big part of um, British music back then. Let me know what you thought, think of that album. Let me know your ranking of the tracks if you can down below, and that'd be great. And I'll see you next time.